Hello and welcome to Factorio, truly lazy bastard. I'm a Cretio. And in this episode, we will start doing some oil stuff. And we have this basic area to do it. So let's get started. And the train left. But that's fine. So the thing is that we had to build the refinery manually. And it's, I think it's the last thing we will build manually. Oh, I just realized one thing. We don't have any water nearby to handle, uh, to handle, uh, the upgraded refinery. Never mind. Let's place the refinery over here. Set it to basic oil processing because that's obviously what we are going to do first. The thing is that I don't know what we need the oil for. I know that we need it. Advanced electronics finished. Great. Let's go for next. What's that? Laser? Stack insert? Or, or modules? What do we need? Well, we kind of need... Science pack free or the blue science pack that requires advanced circuits, which requires plastic. So, I guess plastic is what we need right now. Um, yeah, I think so. Let's go with rows. But let's have plastic on the bottom. So, uh, I mean, not plastic, petroleum gas, because that's almost always what we need most of. And then we have. Uh, hmm. So, if we have that, then we have petroleum gas. And then we have uh, those pipes and those pipes. No. We have the heavy oil, one gap. The light oil, one gap, I think. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Heavy oil, light oil, petroleum gas. And then we need the underground pipes. Now the problem is that I don't remember which one we actually want to connect our uh, oil to. So let's just do it to one of them. The closest one, I guess. And then we need get the oil into that area yes and everything starts working great oh and then we need some power 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 there we go and we have oil actually what we want to do the main thing is to create an assembly machine free have to be this one yes because once we have the assembly machine free we can build more oil stuff until then we have to make sure that this oil refinery that it lives if that breaks down basically our run is over so what I'm thinking let's get some more turrets in place there we go and we have a blueprint as well oh can we do it we can do it over there anyway okay 
let's connect all of this and it shouldn't be that hard to connect it it's just these ones that one and this one Uh, and then we need some green wires going to that, I think. Read hand contents, yeah, copy paste. And I'm leaving that for now. I want to finish this one first. Oh, no, I should connect the green wire to that one. Okay. So let's disconnect it. Disconnect this one and connect it to the long range power pole instead. Still have this read hand contents. Great. Read hand contents and the last green wire. No read hand content. Oops, there we have it. Great, so we have everything. And now we need this new. Let's just place it below, then we don't need to worry. Come on. We have those. Oh. We actually need that one as well and we need let's disconnect this and then we connect it through this new power pole great and then we can get I think we can get everything into place except that we don't have any iron chests whoops Actually, let's see if we can add another one. And then maybe one more, yes. I rather have way too many of these turrets, since we really don't want to get rid of this. Having more turrets gives us some more reliabili reliability. That nothing will happen. Let's go and find some uh, more iron chests. And let's hope the bites aren't attacking right now. That would be really, really annoying. Yeah, so this episode, as I said, we will do the oil. And I don't expect this episode to be very long. We of course have to see, as usual. But... Two, two, two. Let's do the arm chests up here. I noticed that using uh, using grenades, you need more than you expect. That's why I'm adding a lot more uh, a lot more coal to those assembly machines. And I also want to grab whatever coal we have over here. And I guess add to the assembly machines once more. Let's grab those. I don't really like the idea of it, but what should we do? Okay, anything else that needs iron gear wheels? Oh, here we go. There we go. Any other raw materials? Yes, we have uh, iron, we have copper, and we have copper cable. Oh, and green circuits. And steel. Where do we need steel? Do we need it over here? No. And it's over here. Okay, let's add some steel not that it's the the item we need most of actually it's a pretty bad choice for adding steel but we want to get rid of it 
Da wurde ich auch. Okay, and we have a couple of chests now. But we don't have any more coal, so let's add some more of that. Let's grab the grenades we have. 31 grenades. Now we're getting somewhere. But I think we have everything we need to finish um, to finish the defense up here now. So let's get that done. And then... Get plastic, I guess. Okay. It's flashing like crazy. There we go. We need a bunch of the... bunch of the uh, uh, gun turrets, that's what we call them. And a bunch of insertos, a bunch of chests. And now we will get the alarms. That's expected. It's not what we wanted. But it's definitely expected, so we are not going to worry about it. It's just because we are charging all of the, these. Or charging, uh, reloading, reload, I guess. Since it's the first time, we aren't reloading. But yeah, the alarm will annoy us for a couple of... Some time. Can we take this base out? If we can, well, do we need to take it out? Spitter spawners. Still, oh no, I went too close to the biters. Okay, let's retreat. Let's see if we can retreat. The biters are coming. And then the turrets can take care of those biters. I didn't think I went that close to the biters. Oh no. Well, they have found me at least. Yeah. I think the turrets can handle this. Should be able to. We're still loading up the chests. At least that chest. The other ones are finished. So yeah, everything seems okay. That's that. Now, what do we need? Well, we need oil stuff. And I think the first thing we want is plastic. Do we have any chemical plants? No. So let's go and create some of them. And I'm thinking, let's do plastics from this. Just go down and we have the plastic on the left side. That way it's easy to lead it down onto the main belts. And we can have it as part of the, of the factory. So we don't need to do all the plastic production and all of that. We are getting attacked. Oh, it was one stray. One stray biter. Nothing to worry about. Probably one of the biters that I messed with. Okay. So let's change this to chemical plants. No, not this one. Apparently not. Oh, we need three things. There's a lot of things we need. This one we change to chemical plant. Steel will be handled. Iron gear wheels, electronic circuits and pipes. Um, Green circuits, 
pipes and wheel. I don't care wheels. Hmm. Let's do one first and the other one afterwards. I guess let's do iron gear wheels first, a bunch of them. Okay. We could unload these faster than we are. Let's do that. And we could get iron into the assembly machine faster than we are. Yeah. Now we're working at full speed, at least uh, the speed that we can deliver iron in. And we have a bunch of steel chest, uh, iron gear wheels in our steel chest. How much do we need? We need five of each. So this will be enough for like 10 chemical plants. Let's change it to pipes. Oh. Get rid of the iron. And then we should get chemical plants being created. Oh, I should have a look. on the wiki to see what is required. Okay, for plastic we need petroleum gas and we need coal. Let's go up and have a look. Oh, maybe I should grab the chemical plants we have. Let's just continue producing those. We are gonna need them sooner or later. So why not make sure we have them already? Yeah, the thing is, if we let, if we extend this uh, petroleum gas and we build sem uh, not assembly machines, chemical plants on this side, then we can just lead coal from over here. And we have plenty of coal. Okay, let's do that. Chemical plants, please. Oh, by the way, let's have a look. We need, okay, for one plastic bar, I don't think we can see it over here. Yeah, we can. One plastic bar takes one second. We need one coal, but we actually get two plastic bars and not one. So we need to unload quickly, but we don't need to load that quickly to get the speed up. That's okay, I think. Plastic ball. And let's go with an underground pipe and oh, and then a normal pipe. And oh yeah, I forgot about the heavy oil and the light oil. We will need to fix those as well, because if we don't, we will just have uh, we will just fill up the pipes and then we can't produce anymore. But that's fine. Okay, so let's see. Plastic. The result is over here. If we go with this, it actually lines up. And let's change it over here, I guess. Do we use, yeah, we, we do use another belt over here, so, okay. Over here we want the plastic to go. Let's do it like that. That should be plenty of room. And we can lead it all the way down. All the way down here 
and that's our plastic line, I guess. Okay, so we have the plastic for one of the assembly machines at least. We don't have any power or anything like that, but that's that's the next problem. What is this coal about? This coal, I think, let's have a look at the map. That coal, yeah, that's for the power. Let's not do anything with that. There are two ways of doing it. Well, there are more than two ways, but two ways in particular to do this. One is to build a new line over here to, to do the coal thing. Another thing is to put the split somewhere over here, and lead it around and back, and then do coal beside this existing belt. And I think the split away is the way to go. It takes a little bit more, uh, a little bit more belts. I think. But doing it this way. First of all, we we don't have to worry about handling uh, handling splitters over here with the coal, which we would if we had one line over there. We need it to go up and go down. We don't have to worry about that. Secondly. Secondly, we basically, it's easy to extend it if we need to. And yeah, it's, we already have all the miners and all of that. When we need more, we just add another row and it should all be, be fine. Okay, now let's do this. We need that. Great, and we have plastic production. Now the question is, why do we need the plastic? I forgot that again. <laughs> Oops. We need it for advanced circuits for the science pack three. That's right. Oh, but talking about that we actually need the plastic to go to the left and not to the right or to the left as well maybe where is the science production it's all the way up here oh that's quite far what do we need for robots I'm talking about construction robots. We need... Oh, we can research this already. Oh, we need a robot that takes a lot of uh, red circuits. That's something we might want to produce, red circuits. And then we need flying robot frame which robotics I guess takes battery oh batteries yeah <laughs> ah, damn it I forgot about that battery what do we need for those we need sulfuric acid so we need to handle sulfuric acid as well let's do the sulfur processing research we sure need it and since I know that we will be able should be able to handle it at least oh yeah now we have filled up these two pipes but since I know we should be able to handle it let's add a few more chemical plants for plastic I mean, we 
we still have plenty of space to add more if we want to and need to. Oh, we should probably add some some pipes as well. There we go. Oh, sulfur processing. Yeah, we haven't researched that yet, so... I was about to start building it, but we can't until we have the sulfur processing done. But what we could do in the meantime, we need some way to store heavy oil and light oil. And I think that we will do it without... Uh, what are they called? Without tanks, without storage tanks. Let's see if we can handle all the oil stuff using only... What do you call it? Okay. We set that. We have plenty of pipes now. We use... Oh, we can't do it over there. We can do it over here, I guess. We want barrels. That's what we call it. Please stop that. And we have some iron chests. Oh yeah, we can only stack the barrels 10 in each. So let's do 50 of them. Let's stop that. And let's stop that. Okay, so we are basically doing everything we need right now. 30, that's okay. Let's actually limit to two stacks. We shouldn't need more than that. And then we need a couple of assembly machines. To make sure that we can store the, uh, store the light oil and the heavy oil. Can we place them over on the left side? Of course this power pole is in the way. That's my mistake. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we can. So we want this to be heavy oil and this to be light oil. And just do it like that. And yeah, we have some sulfur processing finished. Let's see what more we want right now. We want the batteries, of course. Oh, we need lubricant as well. And we need the electric engine. Let's research that. Uh, what I wanted to do more is to have a steel chest over there, one over there. And where do we have inserters? There we go. And then just connect these pipes. Oh, and... Uh, I guess empty that. And empty that. To make sure we... Oh... Already full. Damn it. That way we know we get a little bit more. Um, oh, this is not good. I forgot that. Never mind. I should have put these two some uh, these two to output on the other side of the belt. Never mind. We will fix that eventually. But now I will get a little bit more. Uh, uh, Light oil. No. Petroleum gas. 
we are handling the oil stuff pretty well, I think. Let's see if we can board the train. That was possible. And see what happens. Just go for a ride. I haven't had a look over here for a while. It doesn't look that bad. Oh yeah, eventually we should of course put more uh, pump jacks in place to get more oil and more of everything. But for now we have a slow but steady flow of, uh, of oil getting to our base and that's all that we really expect right now. Electric engine finished, great. Oh yeah, and now we can do flight. That's a good thing, I think. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Hopefully it's a good thing. Oh, and we are probably able to... Um, well, no. I thought we were able to empty out all of the, uh, all of the barrels. I don't think we are, not really. Where's the other train? I did expect it to be here, right about now. Hmm. we stop it in some way? I don't think so. No, there it goes. Okay. So that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So wh what now? We have the... Uh, we have... We have the... Um, plastic? I think one thing we want is to build red circuits. But I have to make some notes to figure out how to do this the best way. We need advanced circuit. It takes six seconds. Six, oh, six time units. Plastic post, that's fine, we get those, but it takes a copper cable to uh, four and green circuits two. Okay, the green circuits. Green circuit takes 0 0.5 seconds so one green circuit production is enough for two advanced circuit production copper cable this takes copper cable free what about the copper cable production well the copper cable Two copper cable in half a second. I think we could make it pretty simple. Let's make it simple. Um, somehow we should be able to make it simple. Green circuit production. That could actually handle more than two but we aren't since we need copper cable as well oh we might be able to feed it copper cable what do we need copper plates 
We need uh, arm plate and we need plastic. as raw material that we uh, transform of course so let's see what did we say we have a gap of two two assembly machines worth of uh, stuff and then we have the next belt Okay, so the idea is the idea is if we have it like this, then we have an assembly machine. There we go. Whoops, not this one. The thing we need most, what is that? It's definitely copper and copper cable. So let's do copper cable over here. Get copper onto this belt and we feed it out over there. I don't know the ratio of this. Let's make four of those. Flight finished. Okay, let's do some more research. Logistic. No, we are not interested in logistic robots. Not right now, at least. We are interested in construction robots. Oh, we need batteries first, I guess. Let's do that. Okay, so copper in, copper cable out for all of these. Hmm. And they, we get two copper cables in half a second. That should mean that we have more copper cable than we need, way more than we need. So let's let's do it like this. Red circuit, red circuit, green circuit. I just realized that I forgot that we need to have to get something out of the red circuit machines as well. But it's iron and plastic. We can do all of that on one belt and then we can. We are being attacked over here again. That's not good. That's the second time we get attacked at that exact spot. Why did I delete? Oh, we have pollution over this space and over this space. We need to do something about that, I think. But not right now. Let's finish our fort first. So this is red circuits. And this is iron and plastic okay iron let's do it like that just because it's easy this is iron and plastic so let's do it like that just to know where it is oh that's bad actually um, or is it I 
Let's do it like this. The easiest way is to just go on with that. Have a split or go up. We need to split this off as well. Continue right about there. Oh. Yeah, we can just put a split like that. And there we go. We have the iron plastic. Great. And then we just need an underground belt like this. And the rest should be easy enough. Battery finished. Okay. Construction. Robotics. Okay. Robotics first. Seems fair enough. Oh, I forgot about the copper. Never mind. Mm. Yeah, I want some robots. I want one robot. I want more than one robot, to be honest. Okay. Um. Okay, that diminishes the the uh, plastic, of course. Hmm. Yeah, we need some copper over there. I do see where it is. Here, where all the actual biters. I can't even see the biters. Where are they? They should be somewhere, hopefully over here somewhere. Just hope they didn't manage to get past. But yeah, this is the same. This base and this base, they, they are problematic right now and we're all getting it problematic down here as well and over here yeah we need to do something soon enough okay this is a bad idea but i'm doing it anyway One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no. Okay, let's do let's do the underground over here instead, I guess. Like that and this will have to go like that and let's output the red circuits over there we need copper cable over there over here and over here and we need long-handed inserters and stuff from this over there over there and over here and that should well we need inserters more inserters for the copper cable that should be it let's connect it to the network oh that should not be it we need to actually feed the green circuits onto the red circuits. Oops. Let's keep it over that side. 
something like that let's put some lights in place robotics finished okay construction robots please research and we don't need copper above this so we can put long range power pole in somewhere over here that sounds fair looks fair is fair oh um so we should be creating red circuits now okay one more one more belt over there and we are creating red circuits great it will take quite a while before we have a bunch of them and we should be able to take this area and just multiply it like a couple of times doing something like this not with that one one two more times yeah why not know that we don't have the uh, that we don't have the plastic right now to do it but why not prepare everything that some lights oh now I know what I forgot the actual assembly machines Oh, this is getting annoying. We have to take care of the biters over there. Oh, and we need to have a look over here. We don't have a lot of pollution over here. That's great. But yeah, we are getting a bit of red circuits now. Great. Let's take care of the biters. But on the way up, let's first go down and get some uh, oh okay no more ammo being produced Did they really grab ammo from everywhere apparently I did okay uh, or do we have a problem with ammo for the train? Let's get that to stop flashing. We need to get more barrels. Okay, 25, that's enough for now. Let's go up and have a look at the train. Get our barrels to the... Uh, to the, what do you call it, the oil processing area, oh we need lights, 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 and lights, can we, we don't have enough space to place one barrel to have, uh, to have all of the, uh, all of the of one chest to have all of the barrels I mean okay how are you in didn't see your fuel never mind that will have to be okay let's 
That's fine, but it's this trend that I'm a bit worried about. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do we have that much ammo waiting? Um, something is not working. We output two E's. Why are we outputting two E's? E plus E. If J is one, signals. Read the train contents, yes. So we are reading. 100 ammo. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we have found a problem. We just have to fix it now. But that should be okay. The first, in, no, this one. This one, read belt contents. As a pulse and not as hold. Damn it. Now we have four of those and we are not outputting any ease. Okay, so we have a lot of them. We read it as a pulse and not as hold. That was the problem. Oh, but we want to get the train back here actually. Oh, there we go. You please go to ammo load. We want to make sure that it actually, well, we actually figured out that it works. So let's not worry about it. But yeah, now we need to take care of the biters. Lebitos. How big of a base is this? Two small worms and a lot of small spitters. It's two spitter spawners. Okay, this we should be able to handle, I think, without having to use turrets. Unless they get uh, they get reinforcements from other bases, in which case it will be a little bit harder. Okay, that base is, is gone. One spit or one biter spawner. Let's go for the biter spawner first. This I think is the other problem we have. There we go, and we have another spawner over here. Biter spawner apparently. Oops, there is. There is a medium biter. Okay, there we go. And I think we have taken care of all of the bases that were within pollution range. But we should take care of this one as well. It's close by. So let's do that. Let's hope that we can handle it as well. The other ones haven't been that bad, to be honest. One spit on one bite. Oh. But it will be hard if we need to run from this one. Oop. Oh, and we have two medium biters. And one small worm, please. Okay, let's take out the worm first and then the biter spawner. I didn't even see if it was a small worm or... But if it wasn't, 
I would probably be dead, so it have to have been a small worm. Okay, the Python problem is solved for now. And we still have some energy. Okay, everything looks just good again. And we have a train. Let's see how much ammo we actually have stocked up. Well, the good thing with it, we don't need to worry about ammo for the coming uh, rest of the series or something like that. Now, when we go out and attack, we need a lot of ammo, but yeah, there's a lot of it. Let's also have a check at the uh, ammo production, because I don't remember what I did with these. E4, 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 and E4. Okay. So it's just that I picked ammo from all of those uh, chests. Fair enough. That's all that ammo. Oh, it's still in these turrets. But the, the biters have to fight a bit to get to those, so it's not too bad. Okay. So that's that. Should we get some... Area for the red circuits. Oh, what do we have over here? That one is a stone, the other one is not good. Three, four, there we go. And we don't have any of these setups. Let's just go with the first one. There we go. Now we have all of that. And what is happening to to our production over here? I guess we are have yeah. We are full in heavy oil again. Yeah, that's what happens, I guess. Okay, let's go and change the amount of, of uh, chests we have. This is in the wrong place, it should be one third down. I just noticed it, so let's actually move it down. There we go. That looks really bad, but it should be kind of working. Yeah, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to use barrels. Oh, by the way, let's not refuel. Let's refuel what we can, but let's get more fuel. Okay. Let's refuel everything and then go up with the barrels. heavy oil than light oil. 
Okay. Now we are producing more stuff and we get more more plastic. Of course we need more refineries. But I think right now everything is running pretty okay. We do need the batteries. Actually let's have a look at not over here, over here. Battery production. Oh, there we go. Iron plate, copper plate, and sulfuric acid. And the sulfuric acid we get from sulfur and iron and water. Oh no. And sulfur we get from water and petroleum gas. We need water. Okay, that. My first idea was to barrel water and move it up here. But since we need water already now and we don't have the means to move water that way, I don't think we do. Nah, I don't think we do. Let's do the water. Uh, let's pipe up the water instead. Oh, but we need another water pump. We will not use a water pump that's used for the power. We want a specific water pump for that. Mm. Where is the offshore pump? There we go. Oh, that requires a lot of... Electronic circuits, iron gear wheels, and pipes. Okay. Nah, let's not. Let's continue with barrels over there. We only want one uh, offshore pump, so let's not make it harder than it should be. And iron gear wheels. And let's put the iron gear, iron gear wheels back and grab a bunch of barrels. Oh, oh, and put grab those as well. We do need the pipes. Where do we go? I think if we start over here by the lake, zoom in please, there we go, and then we can go like over here, just go up. Yeah, I think that works out. Then we can go up and then go somewhere over this basic area and then we have to handle the rest in a future episode but if we want to do it like that let's go beside this coal stuff mm. there we go and that means we want it there there I think. Wait, that one is not okay. We want it over there and then we go up, up, up. Yeah, and here we want to take care not to disturb the belts we have or the ones we have planned at least and we just continue whoops Oh, 
Okay. Everything's good. We actually don't have to finish this right now. In fact, let's not finish it right now. We know that we can do it. We know that it's not a problem getting the water up there. Uh, we hope it's not a problem getting the water up there. And we don't need we don't need that much water. So it should be okay. But anyway, let's fix that in the next episode. Thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.